Hey YouTube and welcome to episode 3 of the N54 project. Today I'm going to be speaking about the 5 things that I hate about this car. So full disclosure, there's nothing that I really actually hate about the car, but there's some things that in my personal preference I might have changed if I could have had the choice to. For everyone who hasn't seen, I also did a five things I love about the car, so make sure you go check the video out now. So let's get straight into it with point number one. One of the first things that you will notice as a BMW owner is that parts are expensive. This is the same for almost all European and especially German cars. So it's nothing really new, it's to be expected, but it definitely sucks when you have to pay that bill. Point number two. Okay, so point number two, this one definitely comes from having a Golf R previously. The storage areas and cup holders in this car are atrocious. There is absolutely nowhere to store anything. Yes, it is a coupe, yes, it is compact, but there should be some better storage management. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but one of these cup holders gets absolutely wiped out by the center console piece. That would be fine if this center console piece did anything, but it is absolutely just an armrest and has no area to store anything. Very frustrating. Okay, point number three. Okay, point number three. This one is not so much specific to BMWs, however, more specific to what I've experienced as a car owner. In the past, almost all of my cars were white. Having now jumped into a black car, this has been a big difference for me in a negative way. Dust shows up like crazy on these black cars. So if you want it to look nice, you need to wash it all the time. And someone who doesn't have a lot of spare time, this is not something I'm interested in. So. If I could change it, I would definitely look into a, possibly a different color. Point number four. So for point number four, I think this one is a bit of a common um, hate about the 135Is is the dual one side rear exhaust. So if you compare it to something like the 335i, which is very similar of a car and similarly positioned, just a larger version, they've got the dual single tip exhaust, one on each side. Whereas the 135i has got two exhaust tips on the left side of the rear, which just doesn't look sporty. The other factor is that the 125i, I believe has pretty much the exact same rear setup. And so you cannot tell the difference between the two, which in my opinion brings this down. So if I could change it, I would have asked for a similar exhaust setup to the 335i. Okay, point number five. So for point number five, this definitely is a major gripe of mine. It's the infotainment system. So you should be looking on the screen and seeing it now. Basically, this thing looks ancient. It does the very basics and that's it. So even my 2009 Golf R had a quite a large touch screen to really show you what you wanted to see. You could have functionality like GPS, maps, your, your music you're playing, visuals. These are all what you expect on a luxury car. Being a 2008, there should not be a big difference around that time of, of availability, so that's a, that's a negative in my books. One point to clarify though is that you can upgrade these in the aftermarket scene, and I probably will be doing this down the track, so make sure you subscribe to check it out. Okay, cool, so that should pretty much wrap up the five things I hate about this car. So just wanna reiterate, don't really hate anything about this car, it's a great car, I do recommend them. I would not have bought it myself if I truly hated it, but these little small gripes are something that I'm either gonna actively change in my car or, or just learn to live with, I guess. So give it a thumbs up if this has been informative and hopefully it helps make you decide whether you're interested in the 135i or not if you are looking to purchase one. Also, don't forget to subscribe as we will be taking this project much, much further. Um, now that we've got the basics out of the way, I'm gonna be looking to actively making some mods on the car. I'm just waiting for some parts to arrive in the mail and then we're gonna dive deep. So thanks so much and see you soon.